Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to be talking about why I moved out and moved back home. Why I moved out of my last place and why I moved back home. I started this video, I think there might be an intro and I will insert it if it's decent. If you don't already know, I am a was a teen mom and I am now 20. I am in college. I am a sophomore in college, but I go to a community college and how you kind of equivalent that is just a little funky. You're gonna hear background noises because my toddler is with me and she's just a very noisy thing. She's busy. She's got things to do. It's more important than filming this. She's, she's busy. And then I got interrupted and then wanted to make a different video. So here I am in my pajamas. <laughs> but I wanted to film this before I took my makeup off because I don't get opportunities like this much. My kid is asleep and I'm feeling okay and I look decent-ish, so I want to film this. So the main reason I moved back home was because I am going to be starting the nursing program at a school locally and I was already having a hard time trying to manage working and going to school and seeing my kid. <laughs> Luckily I had worked a bunch to be able to continue to do school in that time like till I moved out till my lease was up but once my lease was up I was done <laughs> if I hadn't worked before I started school and like saved up a bunch of money and paid rent ahead of time and everything I would have been drowning and not hardly got to see her at all and she has a lot of health issues that she would just really needed me for and that's another thing is like I need to be able to take care of my kids so that is the top priority school to be able to have a better future and be able to financially be stable and support me and her I decided that that was the best thing to do and I do have the luxury and ability to do that. If you want a little life update and what's going on, I will link it in the eye or link it down below. Basically, the title of that video is like reality of my situation or something like that. Highly recommend checking it out. It gives a lot more insight on that. But I wanted to talk about where I used to live. The landlords were decent and I think for the area, they were actually like pretty good. They ended up giving me my full deposit back and then I um, moved out like two weeks sooner or something like that. I had moved out almost two months before my lease was actually up, but not completely. I like slowly moved stuff out. I had started honestly like six months prior slowly moving stuff back because I knew no matter what I wasn't going to stay there because the price of it was just a little pricey. I'm not going to say it wasn't worth it. Just what they charge for places around here is absurd because it's not worth it. Like, you also can find better deals too. It just depends on who you rent from. Why is this trying to focus? I'm sorry, is there a ghost? What is happening? I am sorry if this is a little all over the place. I am. St I haven't been using the camera much and I also still am not fully, um... Not even close to educated on it and how to use it. I just am trying my best here, guys. Work with me some. It was a townhouse, a two-bedroom, and it did have a basement, but, you know, I can see where that would be great. I think it's more ideally for somebody that's, like, maybe just a couple. Definitely not a family house. The layout of it was just, it was, it was just not the best for me and Mari. It was exactly what I was wanting. Um, I did really want a townhouse because there's, you know, still people like right next to me, but also like it's not an apartment where I'm going to hear people up and below me, but it's also not like a house on its own. I guess like probably similar to a duplex, but a duplex, you kind of can end up hearing what's going on. <sighs> not all, but most from what I've seen, they're not completely separate. There's like mutual common areas or whatever, whether it be a doorway or you have to come in the back, or, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you or you can hear them above you or something, or beside you. If I found a duplex that was more like a townhouse, I would like that, but... Or, like, just in general, like, worth it for the price. It was a little pricier. They had done some remodeling and stuff, but in general, I just, you know, I'm not that bougie that I need something of that price, and, um, it wasn't super expensive, but just, like, for the area, it was expensive. Plus, it was on, like, the wrong side of town, if that makes sense, for how much it was. There was no utilities included in the price. I don't really want to say the price, because it's not going to make any sense unless you live around here. I will make a whole budgeting video, if anybody's interested in that. The parking situation was weird, so there was street parking, but then there was, like, a row on the side so here's the four units stacked and then on the side was parking there was not any assigned parking and there's one time i had to park all the way on the end when my unit is the furthest one away and there wasn't a good sidewalk situation like the sidewalks all the way at the front which is super like minor things it was annoying and i mentioned something to the landlord about having assigned parking because you can park on the street but it's it kind of just depends on how much room there is and also it makes it really hard for people to get through because it's a one-way street and then you, there's no like turnaround area you have to like turn around in the grass kind of for these people's drive was it's just it's a weird scenario and I just thought assigned parking would be better like at least having one designated spot that's yours because I was so irritated when I had to park literally on the opposite end of the building like kind of the back of the building and had to go all the way around with Mari and if it would have been dark out I would have been who I would have been livid like I said it's not really on the right side of town a lot of stuff happens over there <laughs> not specifically on the street I lived on but like 
literally down the road. Actually, specifically on the street I lived on, but not my area. It was like split up. There's like two one ways that go through that street. So, you know, it was like roads away kind of, but it's literally the same street. Irrelevant. The neighbors in town in general can be kind of noisy, but <laughs> living out in the country is not any better. It just would be frustrating when like, I don't know if they worked third shift and like came home for supper, but I'd like hear a car door and my anxiety was just really bad. Honestly, I probably should have put up cameras or like some sort of security system of some sort. That probably would have helped me a lot more. Also, the people in the units not being completely considerate with the parking situation. I don't know exactly which neighbor it was. The two, there's four units. The two people had been there for forever. So I really don't think it was them that was inconsiderate. I think it was the other person. So the two end units were what were available and I wanted the furthest one because it was the most updated and it had a washer and dryer. It wasn't the landlord's. Like if something happened to it, it was just it, the people, the tenants before me left it and so whatever happened to it, they wouldn't replace it. It was just that they were there to use. Actually, a huge reason that like sold me on it. And it was super pretty. Like everything was, like I said, updated. The carpet situation was a little annoying. Um, they also had a thing in the lease where at the end I had to pay for the carpets to be cleaned and I had all the stuff out and cleaned and everything and I literally scrubbed it clean. There's actually a scenario where they said something like the toilet was stained and it was from not cleaning it or whatever and I was like wrong. Me and all my family tried to clean that when we first moved in and we have tried numerous times since and even my mom would come over and like help me clean the toilets and stuff just cause like she would stop over and like go to the bathroom and be like oh, okay this is like needing a little cleaning. Like we were admin about cleaning everything. We were like uh no and we have proof of it I'm sure with all the documenting I do. Anyways I'm glad they gave the full deposit back because I did take really good care of it and I literally cleaned it spotless before I left. Spotless. Like besides the stuff that was already there. There was a coat closet but there was like no pantry and there's cabinets, but I'm short, so in general, like, cabinets to the ceiling don't do me any good besides, like, maybe storing some stuff that I don't use much, and if I don't use it much, I probably don't need it. So, um, I do kind of wish there was more of, like, a safer place to put cleaning stuff. I probably could have made something work had I lived there longer, but been underneath the sink storage in the bathroom because there's one and a half baths. I kind of just realized it was my first time running so I realized things I liked and didn't like and it was overall a pretty good experience. The no utilities included part is kind of weird to me. I'm surprised that there wasn't like sewer or trash because like the trash thing they could have literally just put a dumpster at the end of the unit for all of us to use. Like that would make a lot of sense. Uh, there's just things I question like why they wouldn't have done it. I had planted flowers and they ended up like doing something. We put mulch down and everything. They never said anything about it. Um, but then they ended up like tearing up part of it that we had put down because we didn't know they were laying new mulch down because they had said they just did it. It was like a whole thing. There was like weird things that happened that we were just like, hmm. There was like a little bit of yard that they mowed. I just wasn't there long enough. I wasn't making much of a home of it. So I think that was part of it. But also I didn't have time to utilize it past a place to stay because of school and work. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well be at home. Like there was a broken sidewalk that they needed to get fixed and I thought they were gonna get it fixed like over the summer and then they didn't. Um, I'm not sure if they ever got it fixed. I haven't been there since. I will say the other neighbors, it kind of felt like a competition sometimes because they would like plant stuff and then like after we did and then the next person would do would uh, like plant stuff and it'd be even more extravagant. It was just like a, it was a, just weird vibes honestly. And the whole townhouse was carpeted besides the kitchen area which if you have kids you know that is not fun. And then like I tried to put rugs over everything but it was also new carpet when we moved in, so it irritated Mari's skin so bad. And it's not soft carpet. I just don't understand why putting carpet in would make any sense besides having to make us pay for it to be professionally cleaned before we move out. Which was $200 cash, which means that's like the cheapest option most of the time. Cash would have been the least, then check, then card. And I was just like, oh my. The landlords were pretty responsive and the neighbors were relatively nice other than the little like parking scenarios, consideration things. I would get annoyed when people would smoke outside and then you'd walk outside right after and like you could just smell it but that's just the beauty of living near people. Because you could not smoke inside, you could not have pets, you could not make a lot of loud noise which is literally why I wanted the place. The neighbor on the end also lifted weights and so once the gyms closed during the pandemic they were like lifting weights and it would just like slam to the ground and although it was like before quiet hours it was still really obnoxious like when I was trying to lay there with Mari. Like they had like the big, oh, what is it called? Like the barbell? No, I don't know if that's what it is. Which got the weights on the end and stuff. I think it's a barbell. Man, I'm tired. They would like drop it and it would like slam and uh, they were on the end too and it was just, and they would play music and stuff and I was just kind of like, I know it's not quiet hours but 
Mari and I are trying to sleep. <laughs> like, I have to get up early. I think they worked night shifts, so it was just, like, even more so, like, what the heck. But really, that was, like, the loudest it would get besides neighbors, like, blasting music in their car and you could hear it. Like, not neighbors, neighbors, like, within the unit, but, like, neighbors around us. It was a pretty good price for the town, just not the greatest price for the area. I just, it wasn't the greatest fit for me. It was more the issue. I think it'd be perfect for somebody, like, if it was just me and I didn't have a kid and could make more of a home of it. It just was not the best scenario for me and Mari. Overall, um, it was a good first running experience and honestly like I'd probably be nervous to run again because if like the landlords didn't do anything like crazy but they would f I didn't have any issues honestly besides like when we first moved in the water was like really hot so they had to turn it down like the water heater and they you know got that fixed and we didn't have any like super crazy issues I mentioned the parking situation that I was upset by it I ended up just wanting to do what was best for my scenario so it wasn't entirely about them and i wouldn't even be against running from them again i just think i could potentially find better prices because i've seen my friends have like, nice places to live at a better price but i've also seen the opposite end of the spectrum of stuff being way overpriced or people having junk and it's still being like a hundred less or something a month and i'm just like i'd rather pay a hundred more for the like, quality I'm getting <laughs> but it is what it is I am thankful I got that experience and it taught me a lot and I do think it's kind of important to rent before you try to buy something because there's a lot of things I didn't realize I would want out of a house but also you know technically money wise it's more worth your time to buy a house it's an investment but you know it just depends on your scenario that is why I moved out and why I moved back home I figured some people would be like wondering there's nothing crazy bad that happened or anything I'm not like super struggling but it was to prevent me from super struggling so that is it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe below bye and if I post this tonight good night I'm tired <laughs> peace out